Hello, I'm Charles Betcher, Managing Director and Senior Portfolio Manager at City National Rockdale. Welcome to Market Perspectives. Markets have rebounded from the March lows, risk on has returned, and stocks have shown resiliency, pushing the major indices comfortably into positive territory year to date. Yet there's somewhat of a struggle to find a clear path or trend, as if investors are debating a host of issues. One could say there's a battle royale, so to speak, among factors fighting for investors' hearts and minds and their investment dollars. On the one hand, we have continued global economic growth, healthy corporate profits, against a backdrop of low interest rates and low inflation. On the other hand, rising tensions around tariffs and a potential trade war, higher valuations, uncertainty in the political environment, and fear that interest rates and inflation will rise faster than expected are all chipping away collectively at the market's optimism. So let's look at both sides of this tug of war. From an economic perspective, the fundamentals remain strong, which at this stage of the cycle is impressive. We think that over the next 12 months, we'll see modest above trend growth in the US economy with low recession risk. Much of this expansion can be explained by the uncharacteristic conditions. Unlike other expansions, growth Growth has been modest, borrowing restrained, and inflation low. As a result, interest rates are not pulsing higher to the degree that they have in other cycles. Nonetheless, we expect the Fed to address inflation concerns, but do so in a gradual manner and keep investors engaged. We also think they will allow the U.S. economy to run slightly hot for a time. On the other side of this tug of war, tariff tensions and concerns are not likely to go away anytime soon, and the uncertainty may weigh on investors and the economy. We think the fallout will ultimately be contained for now. Markets ultimately recognize that cycles end when rates rise, curtailing asset prices and business confidence. However, the burst of volatility we saw earlier this year was not triggered by weak earnings reports or soft macroeconomic data, but rather by an unexpected strong print in U.S. wage growth. Sideways trading and volatility are common in this type of environment as investors take a number of quarters to find the pain points and pinch points for rates and assess whether or not earnings growth can continue. Ultimately, markets follow earnings. Importantly, the current earnings growth is not simply a tax reform story. Some of the strength can be traced back to mid-2016 when global economic conditions began to strengthen. Of course, valuations matter as well. Sometimes markets get ahead of earnings, valuations get stretched, and a period of consolidation follows. That's exactly what we saw in the first quarter. The current valuation environment can be best characterized as full, yet fair. To close, we recognize the risk, yet we think there's enough strength offsetting by way of rising profits and reasonable valuations to stay invested in stocks. We note that volatility, while sometimes attention-grabbing, has been moderate relative to long-term standards. Simply, we think there's momentum in this business cycle. I'm Charles Betcher. Thank you for watching Market Perspectives.